day two of our Gowerton trip. We're going to Caswell Bay and then walking east along the coastal path towards the Mumbles. Turn left, then stay to the left. Stay to the left. You've arrived. Destination is on your right. Never believe the weatherman has said this morning the isolated shower and all it's been doing is chucking it down since we got here. So we've had a pork pie. We've had two, John. Two pork pies and it's just rain. Well, we didn't stay long at, was it Caswell Bear? Yes. Because it just rained and rained. We sat in the van for about 20 minutes and we thought, well, we'll head towards Swansea. So we've come to the Mumbles at Bracelet Bay and the weather seems to have picked up. So might get the odd shower, but it's a lot brighter now. So what we'll do, we'll head westwards along the coastal path um, and see where that takes us. I think it takes us to, I'll tell you here, look, there uh, we are. So we're here now. No, at Limeslade Bay it's called. Limeslade Bay and walk to Lambswell Beach and Langlade Bay. Let's try that then. You up for it, Mrs? Go. Cool. Now this is the signpost signs of all signpost signs. Oh, the dark side, Worm's Head. Never seen that before. Little memorials. There's the beach huts that you can see lined. So the place here is actually called Rotherslade, but the, the actual bay is called Langland Bay. Come on, pigs.
Go. Hey. <laughs> hey, Peggy. The next bay along is Caswell, which is where we parked up originally when it was chucking down with rain. But look at it now. So basically we're doing the walk in the opposite direction that we planned. Come on, pegs. This way. Now, I've never seen so many benches on a coastal path. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah. And the hard path continues. Quite a steep drop down there. Gorgeous weather. What is it? And weeks of rain. Yeah. And now it's like summer. You're very lucky, aren't we, John? You can feel the heat. Look. <laughs> I'm in my t-shirt. Oh. <laughs> the shades. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. Nice Peggy. Hey, nice. Yeah, and Lynn pointed out a very well-placed defibrillator. There we are, just in case the cliff is too much. But Lynn's got assisted power. She's got a dog pulling her up. All right, just heading down to Caswell Bay. Now, my wife has just pointed out that doing this walk the other way around has worked out in her favour. So when we get back to the car, she's near the shops. Not sure I agree. Quite a few people out surfboarding. Here we are, Carswell Bay. Trying to hunt out a cafe. A refreshing cold Coke. Peggy Eaton. Yeah. Having a dinner. Peggy, it's not chasing birds. Quite rapid, that then. Yeah, quite deep as well. Yeah. Oh, I see, yeah. Lovely, that looking up at the cliff. So, this is where we parked at the start of the, the day. And at the back of the car park is Bishop's, Bishop's Wood Nature Reserve. And so there's car park and it takes us to a roundhouse. 
And here's the roundhouse. You know we're here, because it says here. <laughs> right. Some ancient, I'm guessing it's a mock-up. I think the modern picnic bench gives it away. <laughs> smell burning, remnants of burning wood. Technically, I say technically, it's not a roundhouse, it's an octagon. That's it for today's walk. Yeah, lovely. And we're just going to head back now to the Mumbles. So, about three and a half miles. and a half miles to get here. So, it'll be a nice round trip of about seven miles. And I probably won't record anything going back because it's just the same as you've seen coming here. Almost back at the car at the Mumbles. How many? 648 six, miles. About seven rounded up and we get to the car. And the sun is still out. And we're both feeling sunburnt at the end of October. <laughs>